Simon, you happen to know very early on Thomas Salmon. How was he? And tell me in what, in what situation you met him. I met uh, Thomas Salmon in the early 80s when I was curator of the Thyssen Bornemisa collection. And he was a mega star. He was a hugely successful dealer. He is one of the most charismatic people I've ever met in my life. He was incredibly good looking, uh, very charming, very courteous, um, very knowledgeable and very passionate about art. And uh, he was literally uh, put enthralling anybody he was meeting. And uh, he, when he passed away, it was a huge shock because uh, it was in the early stages of AIDS. And um, when uh, there was no way of, of, of being cured. And uh, I, I remember when the news hit that he had passed away, it, it really was a huge, huge shock uh, to the art what, world in general. And I remember his, his, his eye. So his eye was absolutely extraordinary because uh, he really was uh, handling only the very best top works. And as curator of the Thyssen uh, Bornemisa collection, I had the privilege of uh, being closely involved in uh, the, the uh, two purchases for the collection. One was a stunning uh, Roy Lichtenstein of a uh, woman in a bathtub, which is now at the Thyssen Bornemisa Museum in uh, uh, Madrid. The second acquisition I did at the time from Thomas Aman was the card plays by Balthus, which is possibly one of the top 10 paintings by Balthus. Now, the extraordinary thing while negotiating those purchases with Thomas Aman was how pleasant it was. He was very straightforward. You knew exactly where you stood. And uh, while he was an excellent and tough negotiator, it was extremely pleasant to do business with him. And, um, I... and you spoke you spoke also about his importance with the catalogue raisonné of Warhol for the market. Uh, well, when when Georg Freis, before I was speaking of uh, Thomas Amann, but when Georg Freis' uh, catalogue raisonné on Warhol uh, came out, when the first volumes came out, it changed everything for the market for Andy Warhol, because uh, we must not forget that while in the late 80s, the market for works by Warhol was going up, in the early 90s, uh, his market was soft and there were articles uh, speaking very badly about Warhol saying, oh, it's an artist who's so commercial and he produces far too many works. You don't know how many works they are of his. In fact, uh, some of the articles that I have seen re uh, written about Damien Hurst uh, in the more recent past literally were very similar to the articles that appeared on Warhol in the early 90s. Now, but, the appearance but Warhol the was a genius. <laughs> Warhol definitely uh, was an absolute genius. And I think every day that passes, we see more of what a genius he was. I was glued to the Warhol Diaries, the Netflix um, biopic, uh, the, the other day. And I must say, every time you discover new things that, uh, to show how important Warhol is to everything that is going on in the world today. So uh, I just wanted to, rem to, to, to say that the, catalog, the initiative of the catalogue raisonné was from uh, Thomas Saman, right? It was Thomas Aman who initiated and uh, took the initiative for Catalogue Raisonné to be done uh, for Warhol. And that was a key decision because uh, when the Catalogue Raisonné started coming out, the trust immediately came back into the market uh, for Andy Warhol. And, and what then one knew exactly. What do you think about the, the estimate of 200, uh, 200 million for the marie -Lim? I do think that this is one of the most important paintings, uh, not only of the 20th century, but in history of art in general. So uh, I think that uh, any estimate is, is in a way justified. And uh, I do not think at all that it is an insane uh, estimate. And of course, we will know the 
answer very rapidly, but it's a work that is completely timeless because you look at it and you don't think instantly of the 60s. It it is a work that gives you as strong a visual shock when you look at it now than uh, when you first saw that that painting, when when, uh, Warhol first did those Marilyns. So, and, and also if you look at it uh, at the history of art in general, and you compare it to some of the greatest and best known paintings in the history of art, this completely stands on its own. And, and uh, so I, I do feel that this work will only become more important as time goes by. Bon, merci beaucoup.